this fall, it's all about lips and lashes. So I want to show you this amazing blossoming technique for your lips to make them appear bigger, plumper, and so on trend. I'm Tui Pham, international artist with Christian Dior, and I'm here to show you the latest tricks right off the runway. The first product I'm going to use is called Fix It. This is an amazing color corrector. I'm going to use it on her lips to create two effects. One, to take any discoloration off of her lip, and also to make sure the color I'm going to use later doesn't bleed. The next product I'm going to use is a contour pencil. It comes in 18 amazing shades, so a great trick when using any rich, bold color is to not only line the lip, but fill the lip in. This will ensure that the color lasts longer and you get more bold pigment. Next, I'm going to use the Rouge Dior Couture Color Lipsticks. These are brand new. They come in 50 amazing feel-good shades. What's also great about these lip contour pencils is they've got a great lip brush on the end which I'm going to use to apply her lipstick. So this is a perfect classic red matte lip. But if you want to take it one step further and be along with the trend, especially for this season, I'm going to show you how to blossom the lipstick. So you take a second color, a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, depending upon what you want to create. I've chosen with something a little bit darker. And I'm going to use it just in the center. and creates a little bit of fullness in the center and you just feather it out to the edge. You keep it just in the bottom bow and the top bow. She has fuller, more luscious lips and right on trend with the season. Next is the brand new Dior Show Maximizer 3D. It's got a beautiful air whip technology, so not only does it coat your lashes, but it makes each lash three times its size, giving you amazing volume and curl. Throw away those lash curlers. This is all that you need. To finish the look, I'm going to use the beautiful Dior Show Mascara. The best trick to putting on mascara to not get clumping and to not get the little balls at the end is to really fill and coat the roots of the lashes first and really wiggle the brush, including the tip, into the roots and then you pull it through the tips to finish the look. I mean, this is the classic look that you don't feel like you're wearing too much for daytime, and you can easily put on a second coat of mascara and feel so good for the evening. 50 Shades of Fabulous right here. <laughs>